If you or your child has lost Medicaid coverage, there are other options for you to get the health care and prescriptions you need. The plan that will work best for you will have an affordable premium and cover the services that you need. Right, seven B, take one. Can you guess which plan this board is meant to represent? These students have done an excellent job describing and visualizing the Affordable Care Act marketplace. The silver plan is the benchmark plan. You have to choose the silver plan if you want to get a premium subsidy. If your job offers health insurance, you can select a plan that covers you and dependents. It's a balancing act between what you have to pay and what your employer has to pay. If you're old enough or have certain conditions or disabilities, Medicare may be an option. I suppose we're choosing 65 light years to coincide with the age that you have to be to qualify for Medicare. If you have a spouse or domestic partner, you may be able to join their health insurance plan. Short-term insurance can be a great choice. They are often not useful over the long term. Certainly, if you need to bridge one insurance coverage to another health insurance plan, they can be a great option. If you are enrolled in a college or university, a campus health insurance plan may be an option. It'll have a lower premium over that five or six months of the semester, and you might find that that campus health plan gives you access to services on campus and care that you may need off campus that you probably don't need very often. If you are an active duty service member, you typically qualify for TRICARE. And if you're a veteran, you often qualify for VA benefits and services. There are a lot of choices, but only you can choose what's best for you. They did a good job with this one.